to weave in ends. Stitch wise is what we will be looking at today. To do so, it will make sense to look at how does a stitch normally travel. A stitch is has normally this part. This is how the yarn is normally traveling when performing a normal stitch. So we will grab our knitting and try to locate this line of the yarn going. I got my ends here. I've been knitting this jumper with two threads, so I'll do the weaving in with two threads uh, where it makes sense. Let us have a look. If we decide to follow this stitch downwards, upwards, down again, all the way it travels, like on the drawing just earlier, then I would have to begin going under here. Make sure I grab both threads and may perform the bottom of the stitch in a way. Travel under this one and now I am to make it out for the top of where am I? Top of this stitch here. So I'll go under this one and make sure that I drag the yarn just tight enough that it does disappear. Now I need to go in through this one where I have actually been earlier, but that is how the stitch travels. And I'll go through the, this one and this one. Yeah, and I will do the top, sort of the roof of the stitch, like this. And I can continue and continue following the root of the stitch all the way to the knitting. I have actually done that now for a few step so you might be able to see that it is slightly thicker here but this is really not very visible once you take the knitting this step further away from your own nose so if we have to understand this a bit better it might make sense to look at how is the knitting once we do the second layer so what we have been doing with our with our sewing now is that we've been going totally in the footsteps of this one stitch so under there up and to the top of the roof and under here and here that's why we do get through this one twice and simply following and following and following the stitch i hope this made sense. What I was knitting here was my silent snow jumper from the Christmas calendar 2020. I've been doing that in these colors. This is the glazed pecan in light and impression from Madeleine Tosh. It's the turn. And the lovely purple from Isaiah Yarn, the telegraph wire from Madeleine Tosh, and the lovely white from Isaiah Yarn again. Yeah, I hope this was um, a little appetizer, and see you maybe soon on Cashmere Company.